So it's day after the Swedish Barber Expo. I'm back in London and uh, today's the day of the final of the Creative Heads Most Wanted Awards. Uh, I've made the finals for the Lions Barber Collective for the uh, Innovation Awards category. So uh, it's a, quite a big day. Um, quite excited about it. It's still not really sink, you know, sunk in yet. Uh, I've got a couple of meetings today which could be potentially pretty huge as well. So. Uh, both for myself and for the Lions. So it's you know another big day. Uh, it all seems to happen at once, you know, like these things do. Um, yeah, I mean today it's all good. The weather's horrible in London, raining, misty, um, and also I'm trying to grow my hair out. And I tell you what, it's starting to get annoying. <laughs> but you can follow the journey of the hair as well. Just remember, hit subscribe. just got given this gift from the guys at Harry's which is a shaving company similar to you know, say Gillette or someone like that uh, they're all online and they've given me a couple of uh, shavers and um, some spare blades a uh, nice little razor stand in this little pack here which has got uh, more sta uh, more razor heads and this is like a uh, like a little cap for the top of your razor when you're traveling another another razor in there and some firming shave gel and then a, a face wash and shave cream and another shave gel uh, this one's like a foaming shave gel over here but uh, yeah and a little bag as well travel pack so thank you ever so much to the guys from harry's you can get their stuff online only uh, they just launched here in the uk but they've been going for about four years in america um yeah they seem like really cool guys just thought i'd uh catch up with a couple of them seeing as I'm in London here for the Creative Head Most Wanted Awards tonight. I'll have a shave of these later on, sort my beard out and uh, just before we go to the awards ceremony later. So what do you get up to when you've got a bit of time to kill before the uh, awards ceremony tonight? So I've had a little bit of time, I thought I'd get a bit of writing done. I've had been approached by somebody, a publishing company who want me to write a book about uh, the Lions Bible Collective, about myself and my journey. Um, they, they weren't aware of the other book that I'd just written, The Barber Boom, which is uh, being edited at the moment and should hopefully be available to buy before the end of the year. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm writing a few sample chapters for this publishing company to see um, if they're interested in perhaps publishing the book. Um, it's quite interesting, quite exciting. I've got to write a chapter about myself and my who I am, my childhood, how I came to be where I am now. Um, another one of the impact of um, my friend's suicide, Alex, uh, what it had on me and my mindset at that point. Um, and then also a uh, third sample chapter would be about um, some stories that I've heard over my time as a you know as a barber really so it's quite quite interesting just three simple chapters I've got to write a couple of pages each and then uh, send them over to them and, and see where we go from there so there could be a second book before the first book's even out really exciting stuff it's all about filling up every little bit of time you get yeah it's what time's now cool 20 past four so I've got a couple of hours and we'll be uh, heading over to Creative Head Most Wanted Finals at the Guild Hall so here I am, I've just finished getting ready. I was about to get my gear on. Well, I did leave a pair of shoes in Sweden, which is hugely annoying. And I'm actually just about to head off down to the uh, Guildhall for the awards ceremony tonight. So wish me luck, I'll do a little bit of filming whilst I'm there if I can do. And it's extremely hot in this room. I will get out of here. Hey, Baldy, Mr. Robinson, here. I'm on. Huh? 43, where are you? Oh, I'm right. <laughs> Trust you. <laughs> I'm at the back. <laughs> Bye, mate. <laughs> Not interested. I never thought that I would be asked to 
Costa hosts these incredible awards, not only the It List, but Creative Head Magazine. Oh my gosh, not me, I've been called a lazy shag at best. <laughs> Very lazy shag indeed. When I first moved to the UK, I was an unwelcome surprise on a mixed bill, and look at me now. I'm like full-blown Caitlyn Jenner, and it feels good. <laughs> amazing. I spent so long wanting to look like one of the Kardashians, I don't even give a fuck it's the dad. I want to be here. and plump up those profits. It's the most wanted award for innovation, sponsored by Cloud9. Welcome to the stage, Commercial Director of Cloud9, Mr. Gavin Gray. Home now.